Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm at the St. Louis Zoo and I came out to visit the St. Louis area again for Father's Day and this may be my last visit to the St. Louis Zoo in quite some time because my, my dad and brother are also relocating down to Florida with me. So as much as I'm looking forward to that, I am going to miss coming out to the St. Louis Zoo. But I do have today to go look at the St. Louis Zoo and a couple other facilities if we make it there. So I'm going to bring you guys on a very brief look at the couple places that I visit today because I don't want to have an hour long video of every detail of every place. So we're just going to make it nice and quick. I'm going to go look at some animals, uh, see some enclosures that I've missed seeing. Unfortunately the new uh, monkey area here at the St. Louis Zoo is not quite open yet, which just means I have to come back up and visit it sometime. But without any further ado, let's go look at some animals. It is a scorcher today in St. Louis. I think it's around like 91, 92 degrees right now. And the feels like is 100, 101, something like that. All I know is that at that point, it's just considered hot and it's really humid out. But, but from being in Florida now, I'm kind of used to that. So I'm not minding it all that much, but there's still a whole lot of people out here. So I'm not talking as much as I would ideally like to, but we just went through River's Edge here. We saw all the elephants, the rhinos, and all the other critters that are out here. Uh, the spotted hyena, which if you checked out one of my previous videos, you, you can learn a whole lot more about those animals. But for right now, I think we're going to look at the Herp building, and then we're going to move on to the St. Louis Aquarium. So I'll see you in the Herp building. We just walked through the Herpetarium here at the St. Louis Zoo and while I was walking through there I booked the soonest appointment for the aquarium. So we're going to go snag lunch and head to the aquarium. My dad actually has not been to the St. Louis Aquarium yet and I went uh, and visited it by myself and I really liked it and for some reason he hasn't gone uh, since I've been down in Florida so we're going to go uh, see it together. Um, and then after that we might try to hit World Bird Sanctuary but we'll see how time depends and let's just go look at the aquarium. Now we made it here to Union Station. We're about to walk into the aquarium here. I'm super excited to show my dad the aquarium since he's never been there before, as I mentioned uh, prior. But I know they have a couple otters. They have some turtles, which I'm a big fan of, as you guys know. And I haven't been here and I think it's maybe two years. Uh, I'm not exactly quite sure when this aquarium first opened, but I came like the first week or two when they opened, so it's been a while. Um, I just want to see some turtles and see some really cool fish. So without any further ado, let's get right in there.
we just got out of the aquarium and it is now it feels like a 105 106 i can't exactly remember right now but after being inside where it's nice and air conditioned and walking back out here whoo it is hot we're about to head to uh, world bird sanctuary we're, we're gonna be outside even more after being in the air conditioned car so it's gonna feel even hotter there it's supposed to get even hotter throughout the day but i want to see some birds of prey and i know they have uh, a couple box turtles there which are my absolute favorite so let's take the drive over to world bird and see what they got We just made it here to the World Bird Sanctuary, and it is still really hot outside, like I expected. But the lucky thing about this trail is that a lot of it is shaded. So I could be in the shade where it's a little bit cooler, and look at some really neat birds of prey. And they do have a couple of uh, trails here, like back there there's a Turtle Bob's Trail, which we will not be doing, because if you take a look down this hill, it's basically a trail down this hill, and it's gonna be even hotter and muggier down there, because that's a creek there. And then we have to hike the entire way back up, which is not something I'm mentally prepared to do today. So we're just gonna stay up on top of the hill. And unfortunately the nature center is closed, so I don't get to see any box turtles there. Let's go see some bald eagles, some hawks, some vultures, and a bunch of other critters. A lot of the birds here are not currently out on display and I don't know if that is because they're doing renovations on a lot of their enclosures, which I'll get to in a second, or it's just really hot outside. So they have the animals back behind the scenes where they can keep the animals a lot cooler because some of the animals just don't like this much heat and it's just not good for them overall. But speaking of renovations, this cage here, this cage here on my um, right, and then we have some more cages up here that are all relatively new. Uh, back when I was here last, they had a couple of newer enclosures, so it's really good to see all these enclosures expanding to give the animals that are that cannot be released back to the wild a lot more space. And unfortunately, as more animals come into the facility, there are always more animals that are not able to be released, so they need more space for them. So to see all these animals have a lot more space and have a lot new have a lot new enclosures uh, than some of their other ones, it's just really cool to see how they're expanding their facility. Uh, they did mention to us that uh, COVID was really difficult for them and they did lose uh, some funding from that. Um, so if you guys want to support World Bird Sanctuary, make sure you guys go to their website and donate to them so they can keep building awesome enclosures for all of these animals. And look at this guy right here. He's just cleaning himself right there. And they're giving uh, him and his, uh, him or her and his other roommate over there plenty of awesome space for these uh, animals to live out the rest of their lives in a nice, comfortable space. So if you guys donate to them, we could do a whole lot more comfortable space and happiness for the rest of these animals. But let's still see if we, we might hit the trail, we might not. But if we don't, then we'll see you guys at Lone Elk Park.
we just left Lone Elk Park and we saw a bunch of elk and bison. They're all staying in the shade or in the water where it's super cool. Um, if you don't know about Lone Elk Park, you just drive through it, which is why for once we're actually in a car. Um, so we're just on the little exit road where it's still shaded and nice and cool. Um, but I want to thank you guys for going on a little quick tour of everywhere we've been today. We went to the, the zoo, the aquarium, we went up to World Bird and then to Lone Elk Park. And I don't think I've hit that many animal facilities in one day, but it was cool to come back up here and see all the places that I've been many times. And I, like, it's nice to have a little bit of a break, but it's always great to go back and see the animals that you always saw. But again, thank you guys for joining me so much. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this week's episode, don't forget to give a big thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I will see you next week.